Oh, look at him. You picking on your sister like that. Hey. Hey, Ben. So I gave them a bone. I have a bunch of these um, bones or soup bones that I've cooked and they've been in the freezer. Oh, well, you just banged your throat on me. I'm sorry. Um, I don't recommend them. Um, especially, well, f for adult dogs. Because once they take the middle out, they can get their jaw uh, caught in the center. But the reason that I'm giving this to them and it's under my supervision, I'm watching them, um, I, the, everything that I've given them to chew on, they've not chewed on it. I mean, they kind of chew on it for a few minutes and go on about their business to play with the stuffed animals. The stuffed animals are great, but right now we do want their teeth to come in. Now, they're only five weeks old, but um, I've had some pups that at three and a half weeks old, they're four weeks old, their teeth are coming in. And I've had some leave here with um, teeth um, on the bottom and maybe just a few on the top. So, but we still want their teeth to, to be in as much as possible. And the way that we get them to do that is by giving them stuff to chew on. Now, I normally have bully sticks. I went upstairs looking for them. I know I have a bag of them somewhere. I just don't know where I put them. Um, and so I will, I'm going to order some tonight. And I'll get them in two days. I'll, you know, I generally use Life's Abundance bully sticks because I, I generally use Life's Abundance everything because I know I can trust their product. But that thing over there is a is a porky puff is what they call it. Dogs like to chew on it, but these pups, they don't really care about it. Now, you know the Havanese breed can be very, very finicky. So I am not surprised. Um, if I give my dog something to chew on and throw it in there, then sometimes they'll chew on it. But this crew of four seems to be pretty finicky. So, hey, I can't see you back there. Hi, why don't you go run off and play? There's a reason that they give these guys the title Velcro Dog. I mean, no matter where I sit, they're not too, too far from me. So you'll notice as they get older and bigger, they play rougher and rougher. And, uh... That is indicative of this breed. They may be a small breed, a toy breed. <laughs> um, oh, he's teaching them how to go under that table. Oh, Bo. Come on, babies. That's why I took the other table up. So you would... Hi, Finn. You listen to me, don't you? Come on, my puppies. Babies, come on. Babies. Hey, Finn. You're stuck, aren't you? Come on. Come. Oh, boy. I don't like the sound of that. So, I forget what I was saying now. But, yeah. Tire yourselves out. Rip and run. So, that panting that you hear. That when they run. They all do it. My adult dogs do it. And so it's funny because it sounds like they've been running for a long time. And really, they may have just been running a couple of steps. <laughs> but, oh, okay, I know what I was saying. So, yeah, these guys, they're a toy breed and they're small. But they are considered one of the toughest and sturdiest of the toy breeds. And, man, oh, man, do they play rough. I mean, it looks like they're killing each other when they when they get ripping and running and playing and jumping on one another they are not a fragile breed you know especially the ones that I breed they're a little bit heavier in the bone these guys are nicely put together they're not going to be on the large side but their bones are certainly going to be sturdy enough now mind you I don't recommend letting them take a flying leap off the furniture mine do it quite often and our bed is quite high we finally put some steps in up there for our dogs to go up and down Grace will go up and down, 
the steps. Um, the others will go up, but then they usually will try to take a flying leap off the, the bed. And a lot of times, you know, we just they just do. They jump off before we can get them. But uh, to save their knees and their legs, we try to make sure that, you know, we don't allow them. They'll wait if we tell them to wait. But, um, and they can handle it. Sadie, uh, who's pregnant right now, she is forever taking a flying leap off of something. Usually the recliner that she sits in, she'll take a flying leap over the arm of the chair. And believe it or not, she can actually dive from that chair to the floor. She can jump out about five feet or more. So when she's pregnant, of course, that's dangerous. And so she generally, we usually kick her out of the out of her chair. Oh, it's you. It's uh, Finn. He just bit me, and yep, that hurt. <laughs> um, he has a tooth in, coming in. Uh, but she can take a flying leap. So we usually take my tennis bag and put it in her chair, and when she gets a little bit further along in her pregnancy, she won't be allowed in that chair because we can't keep her from jumping over the arm of it. Um, so, anyway... Well, this is a six-minute video. I'm going to go ahead and cut it short.